topple trees like toothpicks. CBS 13's Darla Givens joins us now live in West Sacramento with some tips on what you can look for to figure out if the trees in your yard are healthy. Darla. Hey there, you guys. Yes, I'm talking about not trees like this. This is pretty small, but look at these Mondo giant trees over here. Those are the ones that you need to be concerned about because they can cause lots of damage. So, what are you looking for exactly when you're looking for an unhealthy tree? Well, Jeff Strader is a certified arborist. He walks us through the tree, looking from the base where the root plate and the roots are, which he says are about 12 to 14 inches into the ground. He looks up the trunk for any holes or mushrooms, which could indicate the tree is not. Not healthy, and he then expects, inspects the branches. Schrader uses a root probe to see if there's any separation from the tree and the root plate, and he says this is something that homeowners can do using a rod or a very long screwdriver. He describes the tree's anatomy as a wine goblet sitting on top of a china plate. The goblet is a tree, and the china is the root plate. If there's one or more indicators that it's an unhealthy tree, you could run into some big problems during stormy weather. And the soil probe I use to kind of help determine do we have a root plate separation? And that separation could come from high winds, heavy rains. And if you remember back to the, what I had explained earlier to the plate, mm -hmm. the china plate and the wine goblet, well, that lever up in the air, the wine goblet, attached to the root structure, if we get wind and rain, then it kind of lifts slightly on the root plate. So you can just imagine how he's explaining that. It'll topple over uh, with that strong wind and the rain. He also says that each branch, he looks at that and sees as if there is a fusion mark. And if that is not fused properly, that can cause problems as well. So yes, you see tall trees out here like at this park. If they fall on a home, yes, the home will definitely be damaged. And you can call someone out to come and inspect a tree to make sure that you won't have any problems in future rainstorms. Dave, let's toss it over to you.